A vegan's Marley Superior. I have had many a time when people say to me, you think you're better than me, in a simple discussion about veganism. In no way do I ever imply the notion of superiority, but how does one oppose an ingrained belief without looking self-righteous to those whose views that are so different? It is literally a battle of David versus Goliath, where David always loses, not because of logical and ethical arguments, but because of an accepted social norms of this Goliath. So to this point, is morality judged by how popular something is? My personal belief is that the popularity of something does not make something right. For example, racism and sexism were accepted practices only a few decades ago. But what is the definition of moral? Concerned with the practices of right and wrong behavior, Point one, concerned with or derived from the code of behavior that is considered right or acceptable in a particular society. Point two, examining the nature of ethics and the foundations of good and bad. So yes, point one says, a code of behavior considered acceptable by society. But point two, brings in the ethical examination of an action. The measure of the ethical nature of killing animals for food is addressed by Peter Singer, who has argued that if it is possible to survive and be healthy without eating meat, fish, dairy or eggs, one ought to choose that option instead of causing unnecessary harm to animals. For many vegans such as myself, this is the core reason for the choice of veganism. Simply I wish to align my actions with my values. The simple example I can give to try and make others understand this feeling is to look at some of the accepted behaviors of other cultures, such as those that farm and eat dogs. I simply ask, how does that make you feel? Think of that feeling, and that's exactly how I feel about eating animals and using their byproducts. Although this example is usually followed by defense mechanisms, which I've discussed in my previous video. As Linda McCartney once said, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, the whole world would be vegetarian. But the reality is the majority of people have a disconnection to the piece of animal flesh they cook and where it comes from. The industry has done an amazing job in creating guilt relief marketing mechanisms my favorite misnomer is the notion of humane slaughter, in itself being a ridiculous oxymoron that makes people automatically think, oh, it was humanely slaughtered, I feel better now. The livestock industry has helped people lie to themselves by alleviating the anxiety of buying from an industry that promotes exploitation and cruelty. If the standard acts are by any means so humane, may I suggest you take a look at the accepted humane practices of the industry. Have a watch, educate yourself, and ask yourself this question. Do you think that this is okay treatment of the animals, or do you think this is cruel? Ask yourself another question. How does one actually kill 3,000 animals every second humanely? Or how is this actually humane? Is killing something that doesn't want to die showing compassion and benevolence? My last point is to look at the effects that the industry has on its workers. In an article titled PTSD in the Slaughterhouse, it looks at the social impact of those who kill sentient beings on a daily basis. It goes on to say, it will come as no surprise that the consequences of such emotional dissonance include domestic violence, social withdrawal, drug and alcohol abuse, and severe anxiety. Now my purpose of being vegan has zero to do with being morally superior. As stated, it is just aligning my actions with my values. In saying that, the question still remains whether you think that eating dead animals is okay because society says it is, 
or are you really examining the ethics of killing animals? Your job as a decent, ethical human being is to really examine the ethics of killing animals for food and ask yourself, does this really align with my values? Do not fall victim to the bystander effect and wait for someone to do something about this horrible industry. I know personally for me, the choice of vegan, whilst not the normal accepted practice in society, I say, fuck the norms, I'd rather have integrity. Now if you enjoyed this video, please press the subscribe button, and if you want to ask any questions or challenge anything I have said, feel free to do so in the comments below. This is Speaking Vegan, a practical guide to talking about veganism.